Okay, Lenny, tell me where Dokes is and I'll bring him out. Uh, is there any news on the backup? Surely you don't need anyone else's help. Your backup is just touched down in the capital. They're currently en route to you as we speak. They should be with you in about three hours. Yep, that'll do. That's all I need to know. Backup is on the way in three hours. Right, well, there won't be anything left in three hours time. Anyway, yeah, this mission had one of the best backing soundtracks. This mission had one of the best songs in the game. One of my personal favorite missions as well. Alright, sorry, I changed my DPI, so I was a bit lost there. Bonk. Oh, that is a very weird. Just, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. As you can see. Yep, anyway, as I was trying to say, as you can see, the cameras show up from miles away. It's pretty, uh, pretty funny, but I don't recall them doing that as a kid. So it must be something to do with me having a better PC or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's a surprise this game even runs. Oof. A nice surprise, though. All right, what we got going on here, then? Big bonk. <laughs> the animations get me every time. Shooting through the uh, chain link fence isn't the easiest thing in the world. This guy's looking around like, what's, what's going on? There we go. There we go. Just cheese in the mission. A little bit, if you think about it. Oh. Why are you mad? It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Right. As easy as that. I'm surprised I haven't been hit so far. Normally I get shredded running around like this. The MP5 is tiny, goddamn. Hit this guy running around out here. He might be might come peek the door. Nope. Oh. The hitbox is a bit messy. That's okay. I know that there's one sniper up there with a dragon of. So, we're just going to wait him out. There he is. Oh. That's not good. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Normally, I get to tap him once instantly. And get rid of him, but not this time around, I guess. Please die. Thank you. And you die in one. Lovely. I don't remember where any syringes are in this mission, but I don't think I'm going to get shot again. So, we should be okay. So long as I sweep my angles. There we go. Bonk. Wait. I pressed fire and it didn't fire. It just refused. Lovely. Clean so far. Alright, take out this guy. I said take this guy out. Thank you. Lovely. Nice and easy. No fuss. Is he dead? No, that's a body shot. Gone. And these guard houses do have guards in them this time round. As you'd expect. From what I remember. So I'm going to alert them with the sniper rifle, maybe. Lure them out. Easy kills. I just hope that there's some syringes up here, because it's likely that I 
We'll get a shot at least once. Hey. That is what you like to see. Yeah, there's a lot of mission remaining, so I don't want to continue on this sort of HP. And there we are. That's, I believe, the only meds you get on this level. I think I just killed all of them. Well. Don't really need to take out the security cameras, but why not, right? I mean, if I've killed all the guards already, there's no need, but... Hey-ho. That was slow as hell. Uh, Curiosity killed the cat as always. But I'd do it anyway. I do want to see if I killed all of them. Nope. Most of them though. Spaz 12. It's amazing how long all of these guns have been around. It's funny to see that the MP5 in this game is OP as well as Call of Duty. Alright. Oof. He just ran straight through me. Clever girl. Has effective range though, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I guess that's where it makes up for its lack of fire rate, maybe? Down we go. Bonk. Oh, more meds. Lovely. Alright. That's that done. We have 53 meds. I wonder if more enemies spawn up here. Also, the Uzi is essentially just ammunition for your MP5. There's no reason to use the Uzi. It is so bad in this game. I remember always using it as a kid and it just wouldn't do anything, so. Do I bother killing these people over here? Um. Can't remember how to get over here. Nah, there's only like one or two enemies down there. They're not really serving any purpose. Uh, Got to do it anyway. Because it wouldn't be me if I wasn't killing everybody. Wasted a bit of HP for that kill. Enemy. Hello there. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't know why. I just like killing everyone. Even though even though this this game isn't about killing everybody. It's more so about stealth. Individual 1v1s, that sort of thing. Um, it's just satisfying to do, really. I'm sort of a completionist that way. Ah, uh, uh, there he is. Dragon off. Oh. Hmm. Please run out in the open again. Am I really going to have to go searching for him? Ugh. Fine. See, now one cool feature about this game is you can do this. And Call of Duty didn't implement that until Modern Warfare. 
which is rather amusing, in my opinion. Where did this guy go? Oh, oh lucky headshot. Nice. Right, that is that area clear. On to the airfield. Hangar base thing over there. Air control tower? It's one of those things. Just gets me every time, I'm sorry. Whee. The fact that this used to run on my PC that I had as a kid is amazing. Can't even begin to imagine what kind of frame rate I would have been getting though. But it definitely wouldn't have been 30. Although that is what this game is locked to. It's hard coded. Hard locked, whatever you want to call it. At 30. Bit of a shame, but you know. It is what it is. Kill him? I assume that alerted. Yeah, it did. Oh, dearie me. Right, well, at least we get to deal with him early. Oh, poor man's got an Uzi. No chance. No chance. I'm sorry. There's that amazing mouse acceleration coming into play again. Oh, there are more syringes in this mission. Way more than I expected. If you're wondering why I know he's there, played this mission yesterday. Before bed. And he surprised me and took away an unnecessary amount of HP. Did I get him? I don't think I did. Did that time. But yeah, crosshair placement is huge in this game because there's just no aiming properly. Or at least not compared to that of today's games. So you either hit the head with the first shot. Or just aim for the lower lower body. And let the recoil do the rest. It's very tempting to jump. But that's an insta kill. I'm pretty sure. And there's no saving midway through the level, so very Dark Souls in that sense, and you can die so damn quickly in this game as well. Nobody here. Lovely. Alright, well, that is the end of the mission. I've just got to go and grab a MIG for myself. And then we are done. Uh, is there a quicker way to get across? Or? Sadly not. Right, well. You can also hear a chopper over that direction. No idea why. But it is what it is. This game was amazing to me as a kid because there weren't many open world games like this. You can just keep running in any direction you like for ages. There's not necessarily anything out there, but the freedom to choose your path is quite rare or was quite rare in games back in the day. You sort of take it for granted these days.
But yes, anyway, that is this mission done. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. I haven't actually played the next one yet for many years. So I'm going in blind. So it'll be a new experience for yourself. Oh, it'll be a new experience for both of us, actually. Easy, tiger. Wow, this is great. Miles more than the simulator. You crashed the simulator six times. It's got it right in the end, though. Uh, right. I found a small airstrip for you to land at. Your backup team will meet you there. I'm realigning the satellites now.